Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In today's video, I'll be looking at the Tangle Ambler by Zentangle and a variation of it called Trirel, and that's by Pam Pincher Wagner. If we take a look at the two tangles, this outer one is Ambler and the inner one is trial and on this bookmark that's trial as well. Using a 3.5 inch square tile in tan I'm going to be using the following tools. A brown Micron 01, mine's run out so I'm going to use this brown Posca pen, a white gel pen or a white Posca pen and gold and bronze gel pens. If you've only got gold, that'll be okay. And then we've got the regular tools, pencil, tortillon, and I'll be using a white charcoal pencil as well today. Start with four dots and a border. I'm going to divide the page up with some wavy lines. So I'm going to make a small, then a slightly larger, another small, then slightly larger, so that I end up with three thicker strips. And using my brown Posca pen, I'm going to start in the middle to draw Ambler. And it's like drawing a square, but going around and round, as if you were doing a spiral. And that's the whole reason behind the name of trial. It's a triangle going round as if it was a spiral. So it looks like a little bit of a maze. And these shapes can fit quite nicely into like a regular strip or a curved strip. In the other two spots I'm drawing trial. So as I said before, a triangle, whoops, made a bit of a mistake, but that won't matter in the long run. Just keep going. So we do one one way and then go back the other way. Little mazes all the way along. I'm going to fill the other sections with this white gel pen. So first of all, I'm going to aura that bottom line. Sort of define the area, go around the edge. And then in between, just some straight lines.
while that white gel pen dries I'm going to shade the brown areas and I'm just putting a little bit on each edge top and bottom not the side edges I'm now going to use a tortillon and little circular motions to spread that graphite towards the center. So I don't want it completely to cover that whole thing, just bring it up and it gives a little bit of a shadow on each side to make that shape look a little bit curved. I'm now going to add a bit more dimension by using the white charcoal pencil and I'm just going to colour along the centre as a strip. If you have a second tortillon, use that on your white. Otherwise you can just put it on some white paper or even some sandpaper and just get rid of that excess graphite so you have a nice clean tip. Again using circular motions I'm just softening up that white charcoal pencil a little bit. In the white sections I'm putting a light bit of graphite on each edge of the white section not as much as I did on the brown sections I just want to give that little bit of a shadow I'm going to cover that whole area now with white charcoal pencil and this time I'm going a little bit heavier. I got the tip of my torture on a bit dirty there so it's probably a good idea to do the white part first and then come back and blend it in afterwards that way you keep areas nice and clean where you want them to be clean I'm now going to highlight some parts with my gel pens 
So I'm going to start with the bronze one. I'm going to use the gold one just to highlight the border. I'm now going to give the white section a little bit of an extra coat. You could use your white gel pen and just to make it a bit quicker I'm using the white Posca pen. So if I look back at the other samples that I did earlier on the bookmark using that straight line there, uh, you can see I've shaded it and highlighted exactly the same way. Same with this circular one and it makes it look a bit like a button. I've put a bit of white gel pen in the centre to highlight that black section. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. Until next week stay safe and bye for now. 
If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and there's the subscribe button.